Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I am actually celebrating my 14th anniversary with Stampin' Up! And I couldn't be more excited. It is just super fabulous. It has been an amazing 14 years and I am loving every minute of it still. So, in celebration of my 14th anniversary, I am sharing with you my 14 favorite things. So, um, you can see that I have done um, the past years of 13, 12, 11, 10 um, of my favorite things. And so you can see some of them, I don't think I picked the same things because I try not to do that. Um, but you'll see that there's a lot of similarities in some of the products that I love, like flower stamp sets and bright colors. I can't help it. I just love those items. So I have my 14 favorites. Let's get started. So the first thing that I am sharing is framelits. My all-time favorite framelits are the layering ovals, the layering circles, and the stitched shapes. So this is the first three items are these three. I love these. I use these for greetings. I use these for images. I use them for the focal point on my card. I love layering with them with the smooth, the scallop, and then that stitch. I like to intermingle them like a stitch on a scallop or a stitch on a, um, on a smooth or something like that. So I absolutely love these. I feel like I use them on so many different projects. Um, so they are definitely, definitely, definitely my top favorite framelits. Um, and they're so versatile too. Um, you know, when you have images and stuff, sometimes you get tired of the image or it's seasonal or something like that. With those, they're timeless. So you can use those for so many different things. The big ones, the small ones, it's just, there's just so many framelits to the set and, um, and I find so many ways to use them. My favorite stamps are the Picture Perfect Birthday Stamp Set. Um, this is from the Occasions Mini Catalog. I love this stamp set. I send a ton of birthday cards. I send a ton of cards, but I send a ton of birthday cards. And I just find that this one is so perfect for um, both genders as well as all ages. So you can always do two candles for a two-year-old's birthday, or you can do, you know, a whole bunch of candles and then just make it anybody's birthday. It doesn't have to be um, a specific number. And change up the color of the candles um, to make it uh, specific to that person's birthday or just, you know, gender specific like blues and greens or pinks and yellows. Not that there has to be gender specific colors, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I've been loving that one and there's just so much fun things to do with that stamp set. My other one is also from the Occasions Mini Catalog and that's this Beautiful Day stamp set. So this stamp set, I, um, I do love flowers, so of course um, the flower here um, I do love to color, but I will actually say it's the butterfly that I love in this set so much more. I have been using this butterfly for so many different cards. Um, coloring it with my Stampin' Blends, with my Brusho Crystal Color, with watercolor pencils, just heat embossing it, just leaving it plain. Like there's just endless possibilities with that butterfly. And of course it's spring right now, so I'm excited about butterflies and flowers. My favorite punch is this one here. So this is the um, Everyday Label Punch. Love this punch. I just find that it... Um, is big enough for most greetings and it's so easy to layer. So you can cut out or you can punch out um, your original with the greeting on it and then punch out another one in say like a specific color, cut it in half and then put one half on one side, one half on, on the other side and you have that awesome layering effect. Love it. And I love punches for um, for like punching out greetings, it's just so quick and simple. So I do love my framelits, but punches are always um, much easier and much faster to just grab punch and go. Okay, my favorite ribbons are actually the, and this is the biggest surprise to me as well, is the crinkle seam binding. Love, love, love it. Ooh, look at this, it almost matches my shirt. Huh, I'm wearing berry bursts today. <laughs> Love it. Does anybody else um, call colors out in like the real world? 
stamping up colors because I totally do. I'll say to my husband, oh, that needs a little like pool party or something. And, and believe it or not, he actually knows what I'm talking about. But anyway, so the crinkle seam binding, I did not like seam binding at all before. I just felt like it frayed so easy and it was just a mess and it was um, like if you tied it a little but then decided to untie it and redo it, then it was like all crinkled and like messed up and everything. This stuff is like soft fabulous and so cool to add to a project. Um, it's elegant with that like soft smooth look but it also has that crinkle so you don't have um, that you know that issue where it looks crinkled um, and it also gives texture to your card so super super cute looks great in bows looks great just like straight across I absolutely love it in all the colors. My other favorite is the silver metallic edge um, white ribbon. So this is super fun because you can actually color it with your Stampin' Blends so then you can get like other colors which is super super fabulous. But I also just like to use it as the white with that little hint of glimmer on the sides. It's just so elegant and pretty and, and I love a little bling on my cards. So um, so yeah that's another one of my major go-to's with, um, with ribbon. The other item I have, so my favorite color is Berry Burst. I absolutely love this color. I feel like I'm grabbing for it all the time. Um, it goes so well with so many other colors like Berry Burst in Night of Navy, Berry Burst in Peekaboo Peach, Berry Burst in Green, like any of the shades of green. Like I am just super, super loving this color. So um, the Berry Burst ink pad in every color that goes, or every product that goes with Berry Burst, that would be my favorite there. One of the other things is the Stampin' Blends. So all of my Stampin' Blends actually fit into a paper pumpkin box which is super fabulous because then I can store them in there and I love that and I used one of the, um, I think this was like the October or maybe November um, paper pumpkin box so it has that fun little decorative piece to it and everything. Um, but I have been having so much fun with Stampin' Blends. I'm not a colorer. I do not like coloring um, because it, to me it's too tedious and stuff but to do a small little card I'm like I can do this I can do a small little image or a card or something like that adult coloring books mm, heart palpitations right there like that just scares me to death it's just too big and too overwhelming but I can easily do a little bit of coloring for a card and I absolutely love it the Stampin' Blends make me feel like a true artist with the light and the dark I can then do um, you know some shading and add it and everything and like I said I don't feel like an artist whatsoever so um, it's kind of easy and makes me feel like I am an artist which is super super fabulous. So then one of the other things, this is in the Occasions mini catalog. This is the Perennial Birthday Card Kit. Love this kit. This box is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean come on, it is so fabulous. It has 16 cards on the inside um, that you can make. There's four designs and four different things but it also has this amazing birthday calendar. So it has all these little tabs for January through December and then it has all the lines for all the dates that go in that month. So if your birthday is on January 15th, my mom, um, if you have your birthday then, then you can write her name on the 15th of January and then you know how many cards to layer behind that little tab. How fabulous is that? I have another birthday calendar um, that I have hanging on my fridge and trust me it is a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. But this box is so cute and has it so super organized. I love organization. I love cute little boxes too. Okay, then we have, oh, I did want to do a little update. Um, have no fear on the Stampin' Blends. They will be back. We're just having a little bit of an inventory issue where um, we fell in love with them way too fast. And um, so they sold out. So don't worry, they are coming back. Um, they're just not available right now. Um, but I think they should be back in May sometime. It kind of depends on when shipping happens because... You know, you just can never determine some of that stuff. So um, have no fear on the Stampin' Blends. They will be back. The other item is the Stamparatus. Okay, so I thought I was going to, whoa, gotta love cloudy days and some sun on our Illinois weather. <laughs> so sorry about the lighting there, but 
I'm back. Maybe it was the Stamparatus that scared it or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, the Stamparatus is another one of my favorite tools. I didn't think I would fall in love with this tool as much as I did. I thought, oh, that's a hassle. I won't get it out as much. That's not true. So I get it out for a lot of two and three step stamping. I've done the baby bear stamp. I've done the, um, the rainbow that's in the occasions mini catalog. One of the other things that I super, super love, and I've recently done this um, at a couple of my classes, is if you are stamping at a table that's plastic and there's swag in the table, sometimes those bigger images don't get uh, like a clear, crisp look. Because of that swag, it kind of goes down when you press, and then it doesn't give a nice, clean, stamped image. If you use your Stamparatus, it'll come out clean every time, and even if it doesn't, re-ink it, re-stamp it, lines up perfectly. So I actually have been taking this to some of my classes that I have at libraries and churches and other places where we use plastic tables, because then I don't have to worry about um, my stampers messing up their project because of that swag in the table or needing to make sure that they go to a harder surface or stamp under the leg or something like that. So I know some of you um, might stamp in a craft room or on like a card table or something like that and that has a little bit of give in it so the Stamparatus will super help out with that as well as so many other fabulous things. I do have some video tutorials using the Stamparatus and tips and tricks so you can always check those out there too. But yeah, super super loving it and if you didn't get signed up um, for that during all of the pre-registration, don't worry, it will be out June 1st in the 2018-2019 catalog. So, and I'm hoping it will come out earlier. I have no inkling or no um, know about that through the company. I'm just hoping. <laughs> so uh, we, we will see if it does get to come out a little bit earlier because I want you guys to all have it in your hands as well um, because I've been loving mine. So. There's that one. Now I have the last two items, if I calculated correctly, I sure hope so. Um, the last two items are designer series paper. So these are actually both from the Occasions mini catalog, and that is the Petal Passion black and white designer series paper. I love this paper because it's floral, and have you not picked up that I love flowers? Um, but I also love that it's black and white because I love black and white with a pop of color. Any color looks fabulous with it. So I've been using my sponge brayer on it. I've been using Stampin' Blends and other coloring tools to color in the flowers. And then I've also just used it as black and white. So super fun and lots of great possibilities with this black and white designer paper. The other one is actually, and this is kind of a surprise to me too, this one is actually the Myths and Magic Designer Series Paper. So I love this because it has that glittery shine on one sheet of every, or one side, I guess I should say, of every single sheet. And then it just has such fun little images that are great for like, to me, kids, but also kids at heart. So unicorns and wizards and little warriors and mermaids and stuff like that. You can actually cut out those images. So even if you didn't want to buy the stamp set and the coordinating framelits, you could always buy the designer paper and cut out those images and still get some super fabulous cards with all of those. So super, super, super fun um, with this, as well as the back side is all um, like more solid patterns like this one's got the blue little X's and there's another one that's got um, like pink flowers and stuff like that so even if you're like eh, I do like wizards but I don't like mermaids then you can always kind of do that um, so there's always lots of great ways to use that designer series paper so those are my 14 different things that I am loving right now. Let me know in the comments below what some of your items are that you love. Let me know if some of them are the same as mine. And together we can celebrate our favorites. Ah, I'm so excited. So this again is in celebration of my 14th anniversary with Stampin' Up! And I can't be more in love with the company and what I'm doing and of course all of you guys. You guys are super, super fabulous. I also thought that uh, since I am showing my face today on this video, I would also show you the bump. So tomorrow will actually be... So I'm actually filming this today, and today it is 33 weeks, but I'm posting this at a later date, which will be 36 weeks. So this is a 33-week belly 
showing to you on week 30 or just about to be week 36. We can't wait for a little baby to girl to come. So here is a fabulous little belly shot. She is definitely getting big and I am feeling big, but um, still enjoying some stamp time and stuff. So it's always good to be sitting around um, and stamping, keeping my hands busy and stuff like that. And then she'll kick me and tell me whether she likes it or not. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. Anyway, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new by clicking uh, down below. You can hit subscribe as well as clicking the bell so that you get notifications for whenever I post videos, which is every Tuesday and Thursday. And then also sometimes in between, there's a few uh, other videos that I like to intermingle like paper pumpkin and things. Check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, and I'll see you guys all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.